how to do welcome to shop program wizards tv we're going to see how to perform a search against a grid view using a material design a search bar okay you can see this is our search bar this is our grid view uh, right here so say you want to search we just come click right here you can see uh then of course we have the hint right here so for instance if i want to search i can just come right here and start searching okay you can see i can go ahead search uh, right here then if i get or if i click it you can see we're able to get the item that we've actually uh, clicked then of course say you can see right here we're able to search then get the item that's been clicked okay so this is what we're going to see we're using a search bar this of course is a search bar right here we're displaying it inside our app bar layout okay so just below of course our toolbar so a user can search our stuff right here then just searching or filtering and then of course are showing uh, our search bar of course in our toolbar right here so that's it this is what we're going to see guys let's get started so guys the first thing we're going to create our project here's my android studio of course i have the project mine of course search by grid view so go ahead type your application name then the api let's go ahead and choose api level 16 because the search bar we're going to use a third party library that's going to require uh android jelly bean and above okay but of course there's no problem you can see right it supports 99.2 percent that's a lot of devices then we come for templates we're going to start with the basic activity right here the basic activity this is going to give us of course a toolbar okay or it's going to give us the app bar layout onto which you're going to add a search bar okay remember we're going to need this our search bar to actually get this played uh right here in our app bar so well, let's go ahead choose the basic activity right there then of course click next click finish this is going to generate to activity activity main which is the main activity as well as the content uh, main so go ahead create the project for us the first thing we're going to first because we're using this uh, search bar a like third party library let's go ahead and open these two particular gradle files okay the first one this of course is our build of gradle the project level so what should if you open it of course we're going to see the j center which is the default repository we're going to add another one right here which is the marvin okay then of course we specify the url this is where our library is going to be fetched from so please go ahead add it if you don't add it your project is not going to be able to find that particular library you're using then we come to a build of gradle of course the library we're using right here is our material search bar the material search bar you guys saw it in our example this is the library we're using is going to be fetched of course from jetpack.io then of course we just have the these other dependencies also the app compat for instance our main activity is going to be deriving from the app compat activity we have the constraint layout right there we also have the design support library so that's it those are the stuff those are what we do inside our build of gradles please do not forget to add a specify this particular repository because that's where we are fetching our stuff so yes let's move over to our layouts so next let's come right here to our layouts okay of course it's a simple project you can see we only have one activity we're not adding anything special in our manifest inside our layouts we had the two activities that were generated for us the activity main dot xml which of course is the template layout okay as well as the content main dot xml so what we need is very simple right here inside the activity main these are template layout at the root we have the coordinator layout okay then inside it we have the app bar these have been generated for us so in the app bar you can see we have the toolbar now inside the our app bar we're also going to add also our material search bar 
right here okay so material search bar now you guys can see uh, some of the settings you can see the team raising uh right here now we're also giving it an id then of course the hint now the hint as well as the speech mode we can set these ones programmatically for instance you guys are going to say we're going to set the set them programmatically in our java code okay so you can also if suppose we also wanted to show the suggestions also we can also uh, specify right here the number maximum number of suggestions to show but for today we are more concerned with filtering a grid view uh, from our search bar okay so that's it that's what we're going to do inside our content main.xml of course we are going to add our grid view main i normally prefer to use a two column grid view so i'm going to give it two you guys can leave it to three which is the default we give it an id and that's it a layout width as well as the layout height these are going to match the parent okay so next we're going to move over to our main activity all right so we come right here to our main activity this is the only class we are having inside this particular project this is a very basic project of course the main activity is going to derive from our app compact activity then set content view this method writer is going to inflate our activity main.xml you guys notice that in the activity main we did include of course our content main okay content main all right there then we have of course the toolbar okay set support action bar we first reference the toolbar then pass it inside this particular method now uh next let's come create our grid view okay so we're going to reference our grid view from our layout specification so when view by id add.id.m grid view this is going to give us our gv which is our grid view the same thing with our material search bar search bar find view by id r.id dot search bar okay then of course we cast it to our material search bar so come we can set some of the properties for instance the custom hint the speech mode we can set it to true then of course we're going to create a simple array list that's going to hold of course the data that we're going to show in our grid view i'm going to use the galaxies as well, my example so i've pasted in a couple of galaxies right here these are the my data okay these are the ones i'm going to show uh of course in my grid view so next we're going to create our adapter so the array adapter is going to help us in two things first is going to help us in binding of course our data this particular list binding it of course to our grid view and secondly it's going to help us with filtering of data okay so it has an inbuilt filter method that we're going to call which is going to help us in filtering data efficiently so we first instantiate it array adapter adapter equal to new array adapter of course this which is our context then android.r.fair.simple item one that's the layout okay of course um, it's an inbuilt layout that comes of course with the android sdk right here so we just uh, reference it right here from android layout. then of course our data source which is our galaxy galaxies so jv.set adapter we pass in our adapter that's it that's how we're going to bind our data to our grid view okay so next we're going to see how to add the uh we're going to text change listener so search bar dot add text change listener we want that as the user types the data in the search bar we want to automatically filter so yes we pass in an instance of our text watcher right here then of course we're going to override these particular methods you see before text changed then on text change and then after text change of course we are interested in the on text change the real time filtering as the user types we filter in real time so the card sequence this of course is the data uh that we're going to be getting this is going to give us the data of course uh in the search bar that the user has typed search bar then to filter is very simple we just call adapter to get filter this is going to give us a filter uh, class then we call it filter method 
then we just pass in of course the query which is in this case we are having right here as the cache sequence this of course is the query that the user will have typed in the search box okay or in the search bar so that's how we're going to filter it's just simple next we just want to see how to handle the item click events if the user clicks a grid blue even after filtering right here we're going to call the toast we're going to show a toast and then get the item so to get the item the user has clicked let's use the adapter right here adapter to get item this is going to give us the current item take note we're passing in the position right here then of course we just call the to string to cast it to string that's it guys that's it that's going to give us uh, that's going to show for us the data that's been clicked okay so this is how we're going to filter using a search bar is this simple Let's proceed, run the project and see our result. So of course if we run our project, this is what we're getting right here. We can go ahead, search, and then of course handle at the item click events. Okay. So yeah, our stuff is working perfectly. Right here, the source code, we're going to attach them uh, in the description.